Hey everyone, how you doing? We've got loads on today. A um, lot of live chats and things happening today. Uh, meetings. We got a, we got a a forty five minute chat with Vito Pellic from Atarim and Bertha as well. Uh, we're chatting to him in three hours time. I hope you're all there for that. Hey Carapos, how you doing? So that'll be a chat dedicated to Vito Peleg in three hours' time. Question and answer. I've got some questions for him. Um, and we'll see where the conversation goes. Because obviously he's got the Atrium Web Summit coming up as well. And I'm presenting on that as well. So that'd be cool fun. I hope. I hope. I hope. I hope. And I'm just, I'm just investigating... Um, not a problem, but I'm just investigating a p possible solution for something. I'm just trying to um, write a bit of um, CSS so that when you hover over, if you've got an image or a video in Elementor and you add an image mask, I want to be able to hover over the video and remove the image mask. And I'm just trying to write my CSS for that. I think I'm getting it wrong, but I'm just trying to work it out. So it's where you got a video in Elementor and you've applied an image mask. I want to remove the image mask. And I feel like the best way to do it really is to add it to the code. But I'm just trying to I'm trying to work it out. I'm just trying to work it out at the moment. Uh yes, I'm trying to work it out. Uh, and so far, I'm not doing too well on it. <laughs> I will work it out. I'm sure I will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. George, stay as long as you can, mate. Okay. Obviously, always do what's important to you. Right? That that's that is what is in. Whoa! What have I done there? Yeah. Always do what's important to you. You get me? Aha! I think I think I've got it. I think I hey Ibrahim, how are you? So yeah, we've got a very full on day today in three hours time. I hope you guys are there, but don't worry if you're not. Having a 45 minute talk to Vito Pellag who runs the Atarim uh WordPress solution for talking to people and you know um, when you're getting feedback and stuff. So I'm I'm looking forward to um talking to him. I just checked. Raheem, have you eaten? Yeah. All of your dinner. That's a bit hard to believe. No, no way, George. Ah, oh, that's so nice of you. But I don't know if any of you saw my one of my posts I put up. I've got a very heavy day actually. So we're doing got this two hour session. I'm working on stuff in the background. Then we got the Vito Peleg video, live chat. Then I've got a the mastery membership weekly chat we do, which is about 30, 40 minutes long every week. And then after that ends. Um, I then got a client call at six o'clock, so um, there's there's a lot of jumping around today. Quite a, quite a lot on. I don't often like it when I have this much stuff on, especially when it comes to videos, because you um, you can um, you end up just jumping, jumping, jumping. Yeah, Dave, I'm glad you like Pablo. It's good, isn't it? You know, five social media accounts for free. It's so awesome. Uh, yeah, George, I know what you mean. Or you don't really see the benefit of the meeting, but you've got to do it because, you know, it's for someone, something, something, which 
uh, is annoying. I think I've just realized something here. If I do 50, yeah, that'll do. What am I doing that for? Doll? Being a bit of a prat, aren't I? Uh, why is this not centered? There we go, that's better. Ah, uh, I know what you mean, George. You know when you get dragged in. Has it, have any of you seen uh, the comments that um, Verdi made on the Elemental Group? I have to say, though, that I know it's going to divide opinion, okay? So on the Elemental Group, they're wondering if there needs to be a, a women-only, female-only group. And I have to admit, I totally understand equality and everything, but over my long, long years, I have forever seen that sometimes women get a lot of negative or unprofessional comments. I mean, LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, everywhere, right? And sometimes I can understand where women feel a bit threatened as well, and I'm not saying anyone here is like that. Um, and I kind of have said that, look, if... Peep, if there was a need to create a female only elemental community group because they felt um, more secure or more comfortable I don't think we should stop that and I know everyone says in this day and age we shouldn't but you know what I'm seeing more people attacking women in explicit or you know um, derogatory or just um you know, not nice ways, and they and they do it quite easily, and they don't care. Some some of them don't care if you can see their name or face or whoever, or they send these um, not so nice direct messages as well. And I think that look, if there was some form of, I think the world's becoming worse in my opinion. In the last ten fifteen years, I think the world has become a whole lot more worse in terms of how people openly just say what they want to say. So I, I can I've seen comments where people have kind of not not disagreed with it completely, but they're kind of saying what's the point? And I feel like you know if that's what they want, that's what they want. You know, we're not saying that the elemental Facebook group is just for men. No, it's for everyone. Male, female, whatever gender, binary, whatever, it's for everyone. But if they if there's then a separate female only group, I don't I don't see the problem with that, you know. But that's just my opinion. Who am I? I am nobody. I'm just a geek. <laughs> right? I'm just a geek. Oh man, you know when you forget how to write code in... Oh, you know when you forget how to write some code you did before and you kind of go, what the heck did I do there? How did I do that? I do hate that. <laughs> do you know what I mean? When you kind of go, how did I do that? And then when you see what you wrote, you go, oh yeah, that's all it was. Oh yeah. Mm. But don't you ever feel stupid? I mean that in a nice way, but don't you ever feel stupid when you remember, oh yeah, that's how I write it. Do you know what I mean? It's a bit like, oh yes. I mean, I sincerely mean that in a nice way, but I feel stupid when it's like, here's a code I use all the time and I've forgotten how to do it. It's like, um, I was like this, transition, ease in and out. And I started going, hold on, do I put a colon here or not? And I had to double check it. And when I looked at it, I went, oh my God, how did I forget that? The transition bit. Literally transition, you know, the colon, 0.4 seconds, ease in and out. And I was like just going, 
hold on, I can't remember. Is it out, in, or in, out? Or do I do that? And I was, I, was, I was going like this. Which one do I normally go for? Which one do I normally go for? So I opened one of my old YouTube videos just to double check. I mean, I, um, so my SQL is TSQL, Transact SQL is what we use in programming for health and all of that, blah, 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 blah. And when I see MySQL, MySQL is like an inferior version of T-SQL. And I felt like I had to unlearn what I know to get the MySQL to work. And it was, it was, it was frustrating. Uh, Indapri, can I suggest uh, struggling in posting background image in Elemental as there are so many options for... Uh, you go for full. So when you do a background image, okay, you go for full. Full means the resolution of the image. Okay, so you need to go for full. What you also need to do... <laughs> My sequel, I found it inferior to T-SQL. I don't know, maybe it's just me. Um, quantum mechanics. Um, so in Dupri, when it comes to um, your background image for a full width or whatever, go for full resolution, okay? But if it's just an image that sits on the screen somewhere, again, go for full resolution. But in the style is where you set your width, or your maximum width, or your height, right? But if you put an image through and you set it as thumbnail and you've got it as a full width, the resolution will be shot completely bleh. If you set it as medium or large, it will still be bleh, right? Go for full resolution. It's very misleading that when it says size and you go, oh, I just want a medium image. No, go for full resolution. Then set your size, width, max width and height in the style section. Hey, Bobby, how you doing? What are you up to, Bobby? All right, so, so don't be misled by uh, the, the options they give you. You know, thumbnail, medium, medium, large, large, explosively large. No, just go for full resolution and then do it in the style tab. Yep. I'm trying to be craft I'm trying to be a little bit crafty with something at the moment. Just trying to create something but it's not at the moment doing what I really want it to do at the moment but I'm sure I'll work it out. My love has got the money, he's got his strong beliefs. One more and more, what you're asking for. Hey Sam, from Ghana. Um, glad to have you here, by the way, yeah, and I'm glad you're liking the videos. And look, if you've got any questions, please do ask them here. So when you say in Dupree, thank you, Bobby. Thank you very much. Um, so, um, Indapri, when you say you're struggling to position the image, what, 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 I mean, do you want to email me the URL and then talk us through what the problem is? Because maybe we can see it on screen better. Because trying to understand what you're saying there, we might get a bit wrong. Yeah, absolutely what George says. I, I will answer... 20% of questions. Everyone else here chips in with the other 80%. And there's so many experts on here with CSS, JavaScript, uh, life, burgers, barbecue, um, relationships, writing books, how to annoy people. We've got all sorts here. So if you want to email me uh, in Dupree with... Uh, the URL or something, and then explain to us when I share it on screen, what's the problem? So, because um, trying to understand it when you say you can't position it, I'm like, huh? Like, what is this, a little dot? And you want the dot to be here on the screen? Cheers, Indipreet. 
We're all here to help you in Dupree, all right? At the end of the day, we're all here to help you. That's what it's all about. Da 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 Pixel pusher? Hey Pixstar. Never been called a pixel pusher. Hey Zanti, how you doing? I'm um I saw something on someone's website, which I thought, wow, that is really good. And it's something you have to pay $24 for. And I want to create my version of it. It won't have all the features, but can I create my version of it and get it to work for free using just Elementor Pro? No other plugin, very little code, a tiny bit of code. Can I do that with Elementor Pro? Because I was like, ooh. Ooh, I like that. Ooh, I was like, ooh, that is so nice. But it's $24 a month for this one little feature. And I'm not going to tell you what it is until I crack it. I don't want to create any anticipation or excitement. Uh -uh. But I need to be sure I can get it to work. Because I was like, hmm, that is pretty snazzy, I must say. Hmm, I wonder how they did that. You know, so... I just want to work it out. And if I can work it out, win-win for everyone. Believe me, it's a win-win. And it's something I've often thought about, but the fact a company has gone and done it now and they're charging $24 a month. But it's one little thing, right? And I was like, hmm, $24 a month for just one little thing. I think is a ripoff. Total ripoff. So I want to go, can I create a similar effect? Similar. Um, for free, right? Because isn't that a lot of what I try to do on the videos I do? I try I try to do as much as I can with a little bit of code and you don't need another plugin or without a plugin or code. Can we do something just with what you get within Elementor Pro? Not because I'm saying just use Elementor Pro, but maybe if you were using Divi or any other product, as long as you're in WordPress, can we reduce... I'll tell you what, you know when you start to add up what you pay a month? So there's obviously our own hosting and Elementor Pro licenses and all that, but, you know, you pay for that annually. Our accountancy, so for our accountant, we pay. Our Publa Premium account that we have, because we do tons of scheduling. Our Canva Pro account. We have a ManyChat account uh, for the, the way we do the chat service and all that when we do the five-day challenges. Active campaign, that's just a uh, buzzsprout for the podcast. Look, I'm already up to seven things you're paying monthly or annually. It really starts to add up, doesn't it? No pick star, I won't. I'm going to say just hold fire, just hold fire. And if I find out I'm really struggling, I'll share it when I get to that stage. But for now, I'm just going to... You know, I'm going to just uh, not raise any anticipation or anything for it yet. Just yet, all right? Because it's not actually something a lot of you would use. But then some of you will. So there's this one person who regularly contacts me on DM from the Elemental Facebook group. Not going to name any names. They are continuously sending me heaps and heaps and heaps of code and stuff. Oh, this doesn't work. Oh, this doesn't work. Oh, this doesn't work. But they never want to pay for any support. And I keep saying to them, look, this is like the 20th time I'm advising you. If you really want dedicated help, you've got to pay for it.
It's like they got a massive issue, and I've just said, roll back or load it back up. Yeah, I mean, that's why I say, right, I think Publa is totally fine, Dave, for free. We had a lot of scheduling we did, and we, we use up our limits very quickly. So that's why we had to go for um, uh, the premium version. However, the free version, I think, is going to be totally cool for so many people. But yeah, George, once I, if I hit a problem um, with what I'm trying to do, I will obviously share it. But for now, I'm just going to say, let me, let, let me try and crack on. By the way, by next week, potentially by next week, right? Hang on, let me get this right. Potentially by next week, I won't be in this studio anymore. I'm planning to move my recording studio back downstairs and I'm planning to do a big overhaul of one of my, my downstairs study room in terms of layout and decor and try and soundproof and improve the acoustics as well with echo. So I'll be moving downstairs. Um, so got a wallpaper one wall, uh, soundproofing panels on the ceiling. Basically, let me put it to you. I've ordered 32 square meters worth of soundproofing. 560 pounds worth of soundproofing. Lots and lots of stuff. So um, ceiling, walls, that wall as well. Boom, 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 boom. Loads of stuff to do. So um, I, I hope it works. It's like this person's now goes, so what, what do I roll back to? 3.6.3. And I feel like saying... Look, you must have updated and then noticed a problem. So what was the version before you had the problem? So roll back or load up a backup. You know, um, it's obviously someone who's got an auto update. But I get a bit annoyed with like just they keep coming back. And, I'm, and maybe it's my fault because I keep. Yeah, I'm going to check the email now in Depreet, by the way. Um, you know, I feel like they just keep coming to me with issues. Um, yeah, it's, it, well, the echo is, you know, the downstairs study room, because it's four metres by three metres and there's not a lot of furniture in there, the sound is just like, you know, so I've got to just um, soundproof it a little bit more, the room, just to stop a lot of the reverberation, because I tested it with the mic and they, I could hear the reverberation. Right, I'm, so um, so you sent me two links there uh, in Depreet. There's two links, okay. So let me uh, let me share them both, okay. So I want you to talk us through what we're going to be seeing on the screen in a moment. All right. Okay, so we have. Okay, so there's this website, right? that Indopreet's just shared, and then we got this one. So Indopreet, do you want to talk me through, where's the issue? So website one, website two. So this is website one, where's the issue? Website one or website two? Go on Indopreet, tell us. Where's the issue, Indepreet? What are we looking at? What are we looking at? So you're talking about this grid. So over here, okay, uh, hold on. Let me just change my screen size a little bit. So over here, there's a grid. Can you see this grid pattern here? 
on the other side of this video. There's a grid here. So you want, well, if you're going to have that grid, what you could do is you could have, um, um, you could have that as a background overlay, right? So I'm just going to shut this down now. You could have that as a background overlay. So you've got your green background. You have that as an overlay with a bit of transparency, it looks like, right? And then you set it to be, I don't know, what is it? I don't know, what, center right? So it goes like that over there. So you could have center right. So you could do that, so it's pushed behind. Or you use custom when you do the positioning. So don't do center right and just do the horizontal vertical alignment. So you could do that as well. Or you could have an entire image with, uh, so the dots, the dots on the seconds. It's the same thing, to be honest. You would just have the image as a background overlay and then you would um, either use like a center right, center left or all of that. Or you just um, use your custom positioning for the overlay. And you can do that on the desktop, the tablet and the mobile. So I would do that. So I would do that, yeah. I would... Um, I would do that. Uh, background overlay, and then when you've done your background overlay, you then uh, you you do the the preset positioning they give you, or you do the custom horizontal vertical positioning. What? Okay, get this, everyone. Okay, so someone's got a problem. I've said roll back or load up a backup. They then said, how do I check whether that rollback has fixed it? If your website has an error <laughs> and you use a rollback and you still have the error, then it has not worked. <laughs> if it has worked, sorry, if you do not have the error, then it has worked. Do I really have to explain that in writing? Um, I am as well, you know, it worked if you don't get the error. Like seriously, do I really have to explain that? How do, the question, how do I check whether the rollback has fixed it? Well, you have to go away and investigate. Sometimes I'm not sure why people think that I can just instantly solve the problem. Am I being silly here? I know what you mean, Dave, but it's like they've got a problem. They've, I've got no image. I've just got a copy of their error message. I've told them to use a rollback or a backup. They're now saying, how will I know it's fixed if I roll back? Well, what the rollback will do is get you back to where you were before. Then you can start to understand, was it? a plugin update or a theme update? Was it something else? You've got to do a bit of investigation and trial and error. I, I just, I don't get it. I don't get it. They're asking me, how will I know if it's fixed? Well, it's your website. You will know. <laughs> how to put loop like shown features on first website. The loop. Hold on, what loop are you talking about? Sorry, which which loop? When you say loop, do you mean the hoop? Are you talking about the hoop, the circle, the gradient circle? Because that's all I can see.
Oh, you mean this bit? Sorry, are you talking about this bit? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Are you talking about this bit over here? With the logo? You're talking about that bit? Just just to clarify, are you talking about that bit? You could use Media Carousel. You could just use a Media Carousel for that. I mean, they've done something there where they've got, like, the transition for it is quite, um, so I think it's, like, five, I don't know, four or five seconds, and then they've, their transition they've done as a, like, one second, I think, no, it's more than that, it's, it's about, wait, one, it's about 1,000, it's about 2,000, sec 2,000, so two seconds with the transition there. So yeah, media carousel. That is what I would do. Shimon. I think it's working. I think it's working what I'm doing now. Hey, Jimmy, how you doing? Good to have you, my friend. Da 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 Yeah, oh, I think we've all had submissions from Eric Jones. He's like a very he's very busy man, Eric Jones is. Yeah, you crack on, Jimmy. I know, frustration is a bad thing, right? Um, yeah, we all get Eric Jones stuff. He's like, he's our best friend, Eric Jones is, isn't he? He's our best friend. He's always there for us whenever we need him. Good old Eric, hey? Good old Eric. Where would we be without Eric, hey? Oh, tell me about it. His fingers must be worn to the bone. That ain't half of it. I wish there was other parts of him worn to the bone as well, to be honest. I wish he was dead and buried. <laughs> I shouldn't say that, should I? But I do. I wish he was dead and buried. Because he's an absolute... He's an arse. Uh...
Do 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 What is going on here? Well, what what I'm doing, Jimmy, is um so I started off in the garden office, right? And then I was getting rain on the roof and all of that, and it was quite cold in there. And the electricity, when I used the heater in there, the heater was about 50p a, a hour, which I know doesn't sound a lot, but when you consider I was in there a lot, it ramps up the bills quite a bit. Moved over into here. This room is like two meters by, it's not even two meters. It's like, it's about, it's nearly two meters that way, and it's about uh, nearly two meters that way. So it's not a full two meter by two. It's not a full two meter squared. Sorry, um, four meters squared. Sorry, the downstairs room is over twelve meters squared. So it is like three times. It's more than three times. It's, it's much bigger than this room. And that used to be my main study room. So I'm going to be redecorating and changing things around. Um, it's going to be very different to what I have now. And what I've got to do is somehow make it work. My worry is that it won't work. I'm going to spend, so far, it's over £900. So wallpaper, soundproof curtains, sound acoustic things to stick on the wall and the ceiling. Um... It's a lot of money and I could regret it. And you know when you spend like that amount of money on something that you're not even sure is going to work? <sighs> it can it it can devastate you, right? It's not like it's, it's like when you spend a lot of money on a MacBook like you have, you know you're going to love it, right? You know you're getting something amazing, so you're going to love it. But when you spend money on, like, decor or something, and then you go, hmm, hmm, does that really work? That is my big worry. Of course, Dave. Well, to be honest, it's like, the, the way it works is um, she has her income, I have my income. We both put the same amount in for the mortgage, the bills, the food, all of that stuff, right? Blah, 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 blah. And then whatever she has left, she can do with whatever I have left, I can do with. So, um, and of course, then we put, you know, equal amount towards savings pot as well. I just hope it works. I'm, I'm a little bit worried. I am a little bit worried. Because you know how you're used to this dark background behind me with the gradient lights? There will be lights, but it's going to be a different look. So there'll be, you know, like the slatted t um, a wood beam effect, slatted wood. I'll have that behind me. There might be a sofa behind me as well, roughly there. The pr the Hey, Elicor, the big problem with the room, though, is that over here in the far corner will be my weight pressing machine because I've got nowhere else to put it. How's that going to look? And I've got to think about the camera angles and... So yes, if if I'm going to be really honest, I'm shitting myself. I'm going, oh my God. Because when I bought all the stuff and ordered it and I'm waiting for them to be delivered, I was like, oh God, what have I done? What have I done? So I'm nervous. A certain thingy. What certain thingy are you thinking of, Jimmy? No, but it might be, you know, there might be like stuff like this or whatever that are sat. So you know there's something there, but that's not, going to grab your full-on attention and where I've got this shelf and all of that that won't be there now because everything's further back I just have to I have to think very hard I have to think very hard about it um Elicor um I need to talk to you about something Elicor so can you email me on this link please Elicor Right, I need you to e. I want to just talk to you about something, okay? But I need you to email me, all right? Don't worry, it's nothing to worry about, okay? What? So this person who's now just said to me, "Will the error still be there?" They've now said, 
so it won't be there tomorrow. What? What? What the hell? What? So the problem won't be there tomorrow. Not sure. Not sure! What? what? I don't know. They've, they, they've got a problem and they want me to... And they don't know how to solve it or whatever. I've told them to use a backup or a rollback. But now asking me, will the problem disappear tomorrow? Yeah. It won't be there. Oh, trust me, Eleko, I had to think long and hard before I, I, you know, um, my wife was like this, you look stressed, and I went, I'm just, I'm just, um, I'm just evaluating and trying to work out if this is a good risk to take, you know, some risks. <laughs> Anyway, look, Jimmy, good to have you here, right? You crack off, get get on with the work. It's a lot of money. It is a lot of money, Elacor. It is. Elacor, email me, okay? Email me, info at websquadron.co.uk. I need you to email me, okay? I need to talk to you about something. And what they've now said is, hopefully it fixes the issue. Thank you for resisting. Of course, it was my pleasure. <sighs> I didn't really do much, did I? Except tell them, yeah, use a rollback. Boom, 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 boom. I think in a way that, to be honest, I think that person just wanted a second opinion. They were kind of giving me the answers. Shall I do this? Shall I do that? And I was like, yeah, just do that, do that, do that, do that. And I think, um, you know, um, <laughs> Superman suit. In a strange way, right? Just now, when I refreshed Facebook, um, right now Milan, uh, Mil Milkev, Mil Mil Milkev, who you know he works a lot with Elemental, he's got a post on Facebook with Christopher Reeve, Superman, Clark Kent. So just then, Pixar, where you've said Superman, it's right there on my screen. <laughs> there. Oh, mate, if I had a Superman suit on, I'd be like this. For justice and peace. I'd be like that. <laughs> Probably, Dave. I bet they are. Do you know what? I don't even know if it's their website or not, but... But that has got to be the 20th time I've helped that person out. And I'm, I am going to stop now and say, I'm really sorry. You're going to have to just ask other people in the group. You know, I'm not trying to be facetious, but I, I'm not the only person in the group that can help you out. There are others. There are others. So, try to help yourself. <sighs> right, okay, let me just... I'm trying to do something here, and it's not really working for me at the moment. La, 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 if I rule the world. Do you know what? I think I realised my problem. I was using percentages. That's why. 
You're probably wondering what the heck is he working on? It's just a solution. Just a solution. Like I've set myself a challenge that I'm trying to solve and sort out. Yeah, I mean, imposter syndrome is a big one, right? Imposter syndrome is a big one. So, Elicor, I haven't received an email, Elicor. You, you, you haven't emailed me. Come on, Elicor, get that email over to me, all right? I need to, I need to talk to you about something. Right? You got to email me, Elicor. If you don't email me, Elicor, I'm gonna ban you from this group. All right? I'm gonna ban you. So you gotta, you gotta, you gotta get your, um, your email over, mate. Okay? Oh, I don't know, Elico. I don't know. I mean, <sighs> because look, I gave up my day job in January, right? I've given up my day job. So my, other than my wife, right, and her income, my, the, the I was earning a very good salary, a very good salary, right, in my day job. And then when I give that up and I now, a lot of what I do now, the web agency and stuff like that, it's very important now, the money. And for me to kind of go, right, okay, I'm going to I'm gonna give up 900 plus pounds to redecorate a room that I'm not even sure is going to work. That is very risky, isn't it? You know, it's like, shit. I mean, would you do it? If you were in that scenario where you've given up your day job and now your income, a lot of your income relies on what you make, you know, as an agency and web work and all of that, would you give up 900 pounds to redecorate a room? And don't forget, the redecoration of the room isn't to make the room useful because it's a study room. I can sit down there and do my work and whatever, but it's now gonna be, uh, it's gonna be used for recording and I've already got a recording studio here. So I'm spending more money to do something downstairs. But the way I justify it is this room, because I spend a lot of time up here, it feels a little bit cramped. You know, I can't, you know, like, you know, it just feels, I haven't got anywhere to walk around. If I get up, I've got to, I've got to shimmy around the chair to get around the desk to get to the door. Have you noticed when I get up, I'm almost having to do this and shimmy around. And as soon as I'm up, I'm at the doorway. There isn't that walk space. Like I, sometimes I wanna do a live chat where I'm standing, but I can't do that. Cause if I stand, I'm right up against here now. And there's no space for me to move the chair out. It's so, it's, it's a bit restrictive and I feel cramped in. Um, so, from a from a feng shui <laughs> point of view that is why i'm doing it oh uh -huh, yeah uh -huh. thank you very much thank you very much thank you thank you thank you Whatever you want, yeah. Whatever you need. I think there's something going on with this section. What have I done here? Something's not right. Ah, right. I think I know what it is. I think I know what it is now. It's because of that silly height I set there. Yeah, now it's do now it's doing what I told it to. Just 
just got to measure this up and check the measurement is what I said it would be, which it should be. It's kind of weird. It's a little bit weird why it's doing that. Why is it doing that? Uh, don't repeat. Well, um, what I will do is I will do some regular updates. Uh, pictures I'll post on the um, social media and the YouTube community page. And uh, hopefully I will release a video as well where I've gone through stages. Just so you can see how it was all put together. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> of all the risks... When I moved from the garden room to here, I was really worried if I could make this work. What works with this room really well is that because it is small and you got those two lights there and they illuminate like that behind me and you got these uh, lights on the wall as well. I think it all adds to the effect and it works really nicely. When you go to a bigger room, right, those lights are not going to have as great an impact now because you're now lighting a bigger estate, you know, um, but, yeah, it, I'm gonna leave, just gotta see how it goes, right, just gotta go see how it all goes. Oh dear, I can see my son walking back with one of his friends. Hey, Atlantis, how you doing? Um, bank transactions. Bank transactions. Hey, Mark. Um, I'm not sure, W, uh, what the sales. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Budgeting program. There'll, there'll probably be a code canyon. You're right, Raheem. What's up? Can you hear me from your back garden? Yeah. Can you open the um, door? Yeah, I can. You sure it's open? Huh? Is it open? Um, no. Hold on. I've just got to um let um open the back door. Sorry, Dad. Dad. I just. I'll be back in a minute. Okay. So here's what I mean by when I come in the room. I have to shimmy around to get into the chair. You can't see it, but there's like this, there's a gap here. I kid you not, the gap between the arm of the chair and the table is this much. That's it. So when I come in, 
I have to put my leg in first, right? Go like that, lift this leg up a little bit to then get in. <laughs> and that's why I feel cramped. <laughs> Cheers, Elecor. And Elecor, I still haven't received your email. Come on, Elecor, you gotta email me, alright? You gotta email me, Elecor. I don't wanna have to send people to find you and hunt you down. You got me? Oh, I was about to say Atlantis. By the way, everyone, please do remember to click the settings cog to make sure you're not watching in the in a bad resolution, low quality. Make sure you're watching in high quality and make sure you like the video and make sure you subscribe and hit the bell button. But make sure you hit the like button. If you don't hit the like button, right? Imagine this is your, imagine you're in front of me right now, right? You don't want to get hit by the tape measure. These are lethal whips. All right, lethal, lethal weapons. And I'll know, ex and, and if you're standing far away, I just extend the whip. All right, weapon. I don't think there's ever been a crime show or an episode of Columbo where they were, maybe they have, maybe I'm wrong. I don't think so, where they were killed with measuring tape. I mean, this is, I mean, you know, like, look, Serious, you know. So you're not allowed to carry weapons around with you, and you shouldn't carry weapons, okay? But you keep one of these on you. And if anyone comes to attack you, you go, come on then. And then what you do is, when they, like, try to grab you, you get this, right? You put it near their arm, like that, and you go, you go, like that. I had to be careful there, and then that bit should just scratch them. And then you run away. <laughs> but you see this bit here, the the edge bit, that silver bit. I, I'm not kidding, right? Just hold up your arm like that, right? Put it there, so it's just on the other side. And then, and that hurts. When that scrapes over, that hurts. And then you have like, so where I used to work in the council or in schools, the 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 tips there, they're like claws, aren't they? They're like a, they're, they're like that. They're like a like, they're like a claw almost. Two claws, fangs. They're like fangs. So imagine that scratching across you. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, right. Tomorrow's live chat is going to be all about self-defense. Web designers and self-defense. How do you defend yourself from bad clients? God, can you imagine that? Oh, I'll tell you what. Have you guys seen those really dodgy videos? They're on TikTok, YouTube, everywhere. Have you seen them where like, you'll have this guy stood there and five other men come towards him to attack him and he just does this and they kind of jump on the floor or they just go like this they just touch him like as if they're master uwe from kung fu panda they just touch him and they're like Ugh! or they kind of go like this someone comes to punch him and they like grab their finger and do this like ringa ringa rosies or whatever and they do that and the person kind of flips in the air and you think what the heck is this 
What school of Steven Seagal is this? <laughs> oh dear, dear, oh dear, oh dear. WP secure it all in one solution. I don't know. The tape measure. Because now you can say, hey, I'm the Bosch. Right? You're not the boss, you're the Bosch. Hey, Drive Mix Bob, how you doing? Well, <laughs> I'm glad we got that out of our system, right? Check everyone's right out there. Like a Bosch, yeah. It's what it's all about, my friends. So if I go to the video and I Ah, it's working now. It's working. Or I think it's working. Yeah, it's working. Cool. Right, okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, cool, right. Still need to refine what I'm working on. And I know you're all probably wondering, what is he doing? What is he working on? Just a problem I've set for myself, and I'm trying to find a really good way to basically make it work. I've got to go to an engagement party at the end of May, and I'll be like, ugh. It's my good friend, but I have to be honest, it's like, ugh. It's down in London, so I've got to get down to London, engagement party in the evening. I get to stay over, so I don't have to worry about accommodation, but it's... The more you work from home, the more I don't want to travel anywhere. It's bad enough just getting in the car to go to Tesco, which is five minutes away. It's like, oh God, oh, you know? This Pepsi tastes worse and worse each time I drink it because it's been open for about an hour and a half now. Why is it going like that? Why is it going like that? <laughs> it's all right, it's, it's what I'm working on, it's doing something weird and I, I think I know why. Just got to investigate it a bit more. And like I said, don't try to second guess what I'm doing because, uh, y'all. Yeah. Haha, <laughs> merchandise. Hey, Kenneth, how you doing? Um, Pajamas with an E on it. Ooh, Atlantis, two-seater convertible to a Yaris. Okay, once, um, this is about 13 years ago, my car, there was a problem with the gear thing, right, where literally, I think it was like the whole gear thing was dropping, so it just wasn't connecting, and the garage were like, yeah, we'll give you a car, and they were going to give me 
a... I'm trying to remember what it was. It basically looked like... It was It was like... um. It looked like Postman Pat's van, but it was a car. What was it called? I can't remember what it was, but it looked like Postman Pat's van. And I was like, you what? I went, forget it. I just went and got the taxi home. I was like, forget this. What the heck? I thought, I'm not driving Postman Pat's van. It was blue as well. I was like, what? 85 kilometres away, Atlantis. God, wow. That's like, what, an hour and a half drive for you? God. Hope it was worth it. Um, wrap up warm drive mix. All right, wrap up warm. So come on, George, I can't wait to hear what you're going to... Guys, listen to this. Come on. What is it, George? What you got? I went to m and earlier. Uh, Bobby went to m and earlier. Oh, Grimsby. <laughs> Grimsby is only good for fish and chips, Bob. Okay, that's, 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 whenever anyone says Grimsby, I just go for fish and chips. Hey, Roal. Hi, how you doing? Uh, I'm, um, so Mark lives in Lincoln. Um, uh, I live in Leicestershire, Syston in Leicestershire. Where are you, Kenneth? By the way, we're quite international. We've got Germany, Cyprus. Um, we've got loads of people. Uh, we've got Ireland. You know, we're all over the place. Ooh, Atlantis. Ooh. It's just, it's just too easy, isn't it, for people to hit something and cause damage. Denmark, Romania. See what I mean? We're worldwide. We've had people on here from Australia, uh, India. We've had uh, we've had Malaysia, um, Norway. Yeah, Chingy, Norway. I forgot. Hey, Chingy, I didn't realise you were on here. Did you say hi earlier, Chingy? Sorry if I missed it. Good to have you here. Sicily next week. In her Yaris. So Atlantis is going to Sicily in her Yaris, Yorkshire. What bit of Yorkshire are you again, Dave? What? So just going back to what George said, you made a test order with a client on the phone right now. <laughs> Why haven't you paid for the order? Did they think you were a real customer? Like, seriously? Yep, Ghana. Not in a Yaris yet, Atlantis. God, no. Okay, near Skipton. They literally... F oh, dear. Just got to quickly reply to a message here. message I'm putting on here for someone. Uh, Elico, I've just replied back to you. If you're still on here, Elico, I've just replied back to you. All right. Uh, to be honest, Kenneth, um, you know, you're going to find a good mix of freelancers, web design agencies, people who work with other people as well, you know, on uh, design, uh, 
like Adobe, Figma, web design, WordPress. Bulk of us are Elementor. George is an expert in Divi, WordPress. But as part of the Web Squadron, uh, me and Mark, we run a mastery membership as well. Oh, cheers, Mark. I'm so glad you chased that. You know, I'm so happy. <laughs> um, but we do a mastery membership as well, which isn't just about web design or technical skills, about marketing, branding, clients, social media, a whole heap of things that we run as well. But there's loads of different skill sets here. But in your question about freelancers, Kenneth, was there, did you have a particular question about it? So ask away. So when you, I, so, I'm not a massive fan of pitching cold clients because you, it, it's a lot of time spent for no good reward. But what you want to try and do is say, right, I know that you've got a website or you haven't got a website. If you haven't got a website, here's how a website can help you, you know, support your social media, blah, 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 blah. If they've already got a website, what you need to then show them is, look, here's an example of something similar or here's how we would approach your website, or have you thought about X, Y, Z, right? You gotta try and show them that even though they've got a website, you can do better. Remember, a lot of websites out there are old. And when you say to someone, your website's old, they get defensive. They go, what do you mean? I like it, it works for me. So you gotta to talk to them about what do you think they need to do more of now? What's the current market saying? What's the competition saying? Where does that business sit on Google? Page one, page 20, where are they? Um, you know, find out a bit about them. And if they haven't got a website and they rely just on social media, so that's great, but someone might come to your Facebook or your Twitter or your Instagram if you've got a website, it shows you're more invested in your business and now you can do a lot more than just pictures. More than pictures, right? So you got to kind of, um, yeah, your website's trash. No, but you got to con convince them over why they need a website. And that's honestly if you think they need it. Don't say to someone, you need a website, if actually they don't. And if they have got one, talk to them about what have they currently got? What can you do better? What can you improve on? Um, and basically what a lot of other people are saying here. Uh, Kenneth, ask away, right? We have the mastery membership where we go into a lot more detail, but you can always join the live chats and pop a question, ask a question, anything like that. Go for it. Yeah, what Pixar says, yeah, don't use the word old. It's more like against the current competition and the current market, they're missing a trick. You know, maybe they're a website that where they have rental accommodation. They have cabins, rooms, equipment, but they have no facility to rent or book or, or get a quote. It's just, hey, this is what we got, contact us. Well, you're missing a trick there, aren't you, with that straight away? Yeah, Dave's right. Sometimes the difficult bit is the key bit, which is getting an agreement. Kenneth, brilliant, brilliant idea he's done there, or what he does. You do a video walking them through where the problems are, where the gaps are, and how you're gonna fill that gap. And when you start to tell them how you're gonna fill that gap, they start to trust and believe in you. Uh, I'm not, um, I have got some crypto. I have got really minor crypto, but I have to be honest, I'm like, I have to be honest, I've not invested a lot at all because I just don't know where it's going. And I know there are winners, but there's losers as well. And right now, um, I'm focusing on clearing the mortgage and all of that. Did that help at all, Kenneth? Did that help at all? Because it's not just all about what I think, it's about what other people on the chat say as well. Well, hey, look, Kenneth. There's people on here, right? You can even get in touch with us, okay? You know, if you, um, um, 
you know, if you want us to help you out with work as well, let us know, okay? Um, I'll put the email down here, by the way. Ask away. We're here. We're here to help. Okay, I think my son is carrying an Easter egg. Where the heck did he get that from? Or was it a chalk ice? What's he got in his hand? What's that? What's that in your hand? All right. But yeah, drop us an email, Kenneth, and let's see what we can do or if we can get you other help as well, all right? Because there's loads of people in the group as well. But do ask away. Uh, let me just check this inspection. Now, <laughs> Easter poo formed like an egg. <laughs> um, I'm only going to be live for another... Um, I'm only going to be live for another 13 minutes just because I want to get on with some other stuff, check my son as well. Um, and then I've got a live chat with uh, Vito Peleg from Atarim uh, at 3 p.m. GMT plus one. So basically in one hour, in one hour and 46 minutes, one hour, 46 minutes, um... One hour, 46 minutes. I've got a live chat with Vita Peleg. So if any of you join on to it, because it will be via YouTube and all that. If any of you join on to it, please too. But it is going to be focused on Vito Peleg, right? Um, Q&A with him. Um, so it's um, it's not all about Web Squadron, but it's about him, after him, the Web Summit event, which is end of April, which is free. You know, it's a web summit event, which is free. Make sure you're there. Yep, Kenneth, I look forward to that email. Uh, Pickstar. Wow, just two episodes. It's one of those shows which is just... Uh, it's just... It's, it's, it's so addictive to watch. I mean, season three in Dark just completely did like a, a a loop over everything, right? It completely went in a... Yep, I have, Mark. I have, I have. <laughs> There's the questions. But but the, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, eight questions. There's obviously the intro, so that's nine questions. And then... The conversation will go where it needs to go. So a lot of these questions are kind of where I notice, right, we need a question now. So I've got stuff to go on for. Yep, the third season is the last one, Pickstar. Yep. Did your son, so your son stopped watching it. I have to say, though, season one, episode one, right, you got to get through the first episode because the first episode is cliched. You kind of go, where's this going? What's the point of this? you got to get through the first episode. After the first episode, it picks up a lot. Oh, yes, 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 yes. In fact, I can tell you one of the questions. Um, shall I tell you what one of the questions are? Shall I tell you what one of the questions are? So one of the questions is... What do you hate the most about being a male? Because you'd never expect that, would you? If someone said to you right now, an interview question, what do you hate most about being a male? Yeah, ooh, yeah, do you know what? I forgot there's, there, there, there are a few of those. I think, I mean, there's one, there's one right at the beginning in episode season one, yeah. But one of the questions is, what do you hate most? So if I said to you right now, what do you hate most about being a male? What the heck would you say to that? I'd probably say shaving. I probably, I would say rampant hair growth. 
multiplying hair growth. But the questions are, um, they're not your run of the mill. They're not your run of the mill. They are not run of the mill questions. Uh, Cause I want it to be different. <laughs> That's actually a very good one. What is your favorite channel? And he'll be like, he'll go, he'll go, oh yeah, Jim Fahad. He'll go, Jim Fahad's channel. And I'll be like, Ugh. Here's your tape measure. Weapon. I know Atlantis, I know, but. <laughs> Ooh, pick star. <laughs> um, I know Atlantis. I think it's more like, um, it's just more rapid, isn't it? It's more rapid. It's more visceral. I know, I don't think, I think, I think Atlantis is going to come back and say, if we had a competition, she'd probably say she's going to have more than me after a week. Right? I don't know. Oh, God. Right, let's not, let's not go there. Let's not go there. Yeah, I mean, shaving is, you know, trimming. I don't really shave, I trim. So I use my electric trimmer and I just cut it all the way down. But I trimmed on, uh, what day did I trim? I think it was Saturday. I think I trimmed on Saturday. Was it Saturday? I think it was Saturday I trimmed. And um, so this is after Saturday. I mean, it's already quite, quite big already. You know, it's like look, it's like sa it's like it's like coarse sandpaper. I mean, look, just listen to the noise this makes. Probably can't hear that, can you? All right, I am going to be shutting down the live in about nine minutes just because I need to just crack on with some other stuff, get ready for the veto thing. Got quite a heavy day, you know, got the veto thing is 45 minutes. Then at 5 p.m. UK, uh, UK time, we've got the Mastery Membership Weekly Chat. Then as soon as that ends, I've got a client call at 6 p.m. The one about the directory theme, got to talk. Uh, that one was meant to have yet yesterday, but delayed till today. So it's doosh, 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 doosh. Hey, Elicor, don't worry, mate. Elicor, don't worry, all right? You, based on the email I sent you, you co contact me when you're ready, okay? And for the live chat with Vito, I am going to be using um, EV Mux. So we got both of us on screen. Hopefully that goes and works okay. If not, we're a bit screwed and messed up. But I hope it goes okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go for it, Chingy. Uh, send it. Yeah, send it. We should be okay. I mean, I've explained to them headphones for the sound, audio feedback, um, Google Chrome. And, um, yeah.
Absolutely, fingers crossed. Because, you know, it's like, um, I've got a feeling that when you have just one and one person, it, it's not so bad. When we had tried it with six people, two of the cameras weren't working. But I don't know if that was down to the cameras or what, or I don't know what's wrong with Evie Mux that day, but uh, we should be okay now. We should be okay. What's up, Strider? I can hear my cat whining. Our house in the middle of the street. Our house do do in the middle of the street. Yeah, so I got the logo, Chingy. Um, yeah, so Chingy, the logo does appear too big. If you're still there, Chingy, the 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 logo just feels. It's almost like the the words need to be either make the words bigger, or make the logo smaller. I mean, I would say, if this was me, right, uh, if I... Uh, I would say that logo has got to be 40% of how big it is. So if you take, leave the words as they are, that logo lose 60%. So shrink it to 40% of what it is, and that might look better. Because that logo is quite distinctive. And it doesn't need to be that big. I think that logo, even when it's four, if, if it went from that to like that, right? So we're going from like that to that, 40%. You can still see what that logo is. It is so, it, it, it's, it's not complicated, is it? Just a pattern in a circle with a bit cut out. It, I would say, shrink it down completely, you know? Um... Yeah, I would say shrink that down completely. So it's more... It, it doesn't have to be perfectly, yeah, in line with, like, the the height of the F. It doesn't have to be completely like that. It can be a little bit bigger than the F, but not too much. You know, it just feels... And I would have it closer to the F as well. It's the space between... The space between the logo and the F is so spaced out. I would have it closer. All right, take care, Pixstar. Just saw your message. Sorry. Take care. See you tomorrow. Or later. But that logo, if that's your word and that's your logo, it feels too far away. I would bring it in like that as well. Yeah, yeah. Go for it. Okay, look. I'm going to cut off in about a minute. I'm going to cut off in about a minute. It's been really good fun, everyone. Take care, George. It's been really good fun. We talked about quite a few stuff. I've been problem solving something in the background. And we talked about the master weapon. The tape measure. And me sharing my anguish when I get to redo my room. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> no probs, Elical. Um. So in about 1 hour 33 minutes, I'll be live again on YouTube, but this time I'll be with Vito Pellic. Hey, I hope I see you there. If not, take care. Catch you all soon. Stay safe, everyone, all right? Friends, family, what you eat, what you drink, where you sleep, what you do in your life, and everything you do today, take care.